What's going on guys? Welcome back to another High Prairie Kitchen. So I've got a few geese, got a few ducks in the fridge, and today I'm going to be making jerky once again with them. Already made a smoked duck jerky recipe, doing another one. This time I'll be using the dehydrator. So, let's get to it. Here we have our meat. I've got one goose and a couple different ducks in there. And basically, what we need to do is cut them up. And if we see any feathers or BBs, obviously we're going to remove those. But uh, we're going to cut them into about a quarter inch strips. Now before I cut these up, I put them in the freezer. You might see there are a little ice on the sides of them. That makes it just a little easier to cut. All right, so I got the first goose breast done, and I'm just laying them out flat like this. This is what we'll uh, we'll put the marinade in. We'll keep putting the meat in, and then we'll pour the marinade over to mix all the strips in. But just kind of how I'm preparing it right now. Okay, there we go. That is all the jerky meat. Hopefully, it'll fit on my dehydrator. Now what I'm doing is I'm gonna make the marinade that the jerky is gonna sit in. And starting with, we're gonna have kosher salt. And I doubled the recipe. I'll put the original recipe down below so you guys can use it. I had five pounds of meat that only called for two and a half to three pounds. So I doubled it and I'm just making a whole bunch while I had it in the fridge. So we need five tablespoons of kosher salt. Next we need seven tablespoons of brown sugar. Next we need one tablespoon of cayenne pepper and you can put more in if you like it spicy it's up to you you can tweak this recipe if you like a little sweeter you could put more brown sugar in it you like it a little hotter put more pepper in it next we're gonna add four teaspoons of garlic powder and then four teaspoons of black powder as well now we're gonna add two teaspoons of onion powder. Then to give it a smoky flavor, we're gonna add two tablespoons of this liquid smoke. Now we're gonna add a cup of Worcestershire sauce. And my other bottle ran out on me, so I gotta to top it off with this one. Finally, we're gonna add four cups of water. We're just gonna stir it up with a fork here. You can use a whisk or whatever. And there's our marinade. Now that we've got our marinade done, and this is kind of tricky because sometimes you'll get stuff sitting at the bottom. But now that we got her done, just, yeah, you can see there's already some sticking to the bottom, so you might need to get a little more water and rinse that out at the end, but just pour it over. Yeah, I didn't take it off, so. So that can be a problem, so you just rinse her out a little bit. that there a little more water won't hurt anything I'm just gonna try to evenly distribute the meat throughout the marinade so now the meat is marinating we'll leave it in there for at least a day you can leave it up there longer the longer you leave it in the saltier it's gonna be so it's really up to you you want to refrigerate it and then after 24 to 48 hours, we're gonna put it on the dehydrator and dry it down for another 10, 10 to 12 hours. All right guys, so it has been 24 hours since I put the jerky into the fridge. Now we're gonna put it on the dehydrator. But I'm gonna do it in two different batches. So as you can see, I don't have the biggest dehydrator. So I'm gonna, I'm doing it for that reason, but also I'm kind of curious to try the marinade in you know one day marinade versus the 48 hour marinade we're gonna do a little taste test at the end but we'll get this started it only takes about 10 to 12 hours on the dehydrator it depends how thick you cut your jerky obviously thicker is gonna take longer and if you want it a little more crunchier put it on there longer as well I like my jerky a little chewy so probably about 12 hours is the maximum here's the dehydrator as I just said 130 degrees we're gonna leave it on 10 to 12 hours I have some aluminum foil just to catch try to catch most of the drippings so I don't have to clean it as you know clean it as much 
And there's one rack loaded. Now we gotta do this three more times and we'll, you know, turn it on and be ready. And here we are, four trays of hopefully good jerky meat. Like I said, leave it set for 10 to 12 hours, maybe a little longer if you have thicker jerky. Finally done with the second day batch. So this is the stuff that marinated for two days and only had enough for about two trays here. Let me see. But I left both of these batches on for 12 hours. Here's the stuff from the first day, it filled up four whole trays. Now we're gonna do a little taste test, see which one turned out better. Let's just try a little bit, piece of this one. So the day one batch, it was only marinated for 24 hours. It still ha it has a really good flavor. Still tastes really good. Next we'll try the 48 hour batch. You can notice a little bit of difference. Just a little bit. It's a little saltier, but other than that, it's pretty similar to, you know, both batches are pretty similar. But that's a really good recipe. That's a heck of a recipe, actually. I just kind of toyed around with this recipe when I was doing this. Just wanted to, uh, you know, try, to, try a new recipe out, and actually, I'm very pleased with how this turned out. And it was super easy. This is like the easiest jerky making I've ever done. Usually I do the smoking. I've done deer on a dehydrator, never duck before. So this was kind of an experiment for myself as well. And it turned out great, guys. You need to try this recipe. It's super easy. And other than, you know, waiting for the time for it to marinate and dehydrate, that's literally all you gotta do. Otherwise, you're just cutting the strips up and making the marinade. And that's really all the work you have to do. It's that, I mean, it's not any more time consuming than that. So I would, I would urge everyone to try this recipe and let me know what you guys think down below. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. Go check out the other ones in the High Prairie Kitchen playlist. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Not just duck, not just goose, there's deer. There's all kinds of other stuff out there and there's gonna be more being added throughout the year. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Drop a comment letting me know what your thoughts were. Guys, do you like this recipe? Do you have any other recipes you want me to try for wild game? It doesn't have to be duck or goose. You know, if you have a good recipe, either message me on my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or drop a comment down below and we can, uh, you know, we can, I can get it from there. Subscribe if you haven't already so you can stay up to date with the latest hunting and fishing videos as well as more cooking videos and hunting how-to tips and tricks, gear reviews, unboxing videos, and a whole bunch more. And we will catch you out there, guys. See ya.